Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking, highlighting popular dishes that are part of our traditional Jamaican culture. Here now is today's host. We know you are on the lookout for interesting new ways to make your family's meals more enjoyable. And we have a great one lined up for you today, presented by a man who is a master cook in his own right. He is Mr. George Phillips. He runs King Eitel Restaurant in Crossroads, Kingston. Mr. Phillips, welcome to Creative Cooking. Hello, Mrs. It is a pleasure to have you on the program. So sorry. Okay. Share with us what you serve for breakfast and what you serve for, for, for lunch. Breakfast. For breakfast, you can get. We have a variety of flitters, uh, yeah. banana flitters, hockey flitters. Salted fritters, mm. peanut porridge, yeah, well. caramel fried up in, yes. aki and saltfish, mm. kalalo, sprat. We yeah. couldn't finish without the sprat in there, yeah. okay. You can get medina tea, medina tea. Cerise, Cerise. leaf of life. Tell me what they serve for, for lunch. Well, for lunch now, mm -hmm. from there we have a variety. So yeah. like, you can get tofu in a variety of style. Tofu yeah. ball, mm -hmm. aki and tofu, shu yeah. tofu. Wow. Yes, tofu, chop soy, mm -hmm. and we have chunks and beans mm -hmm. with curry. Tell us what you're cooking for us today. Well, today I'm preparing some ackee fritters. Ackee fritters, and this is one of the breakfast items that he serves at his place, right? But I'm starting by putting the flowers in the mix, the flour. Then you add the ingredients, a little touch of salt, onion, tomato, thyme, pepper, and then you add your meal ingredients now, the aki, and then you add the coconut milk. You mix and see that everything, you know, is mixing. Now, most of you use a spoon like this, it depends on how you like your fritters. You can use a smaller spoon or a spoon such like this. Depends on how you like your fritters. Because some people like them, as I said, soft, some people like them crispy. So it all depends on how you want them. That's why some people like them like this, and some people like them, you have to make them stay like a longer. They might want them get the darkish. Hi, Mr. Phillips. Hello, Miss. Mm. Oh, I should them look right, you know. Mm. So you're, you're saying to me that. I could maybe use about five to six minutes on each side. About yeah. five to six. It all eight. depends on how you like your fritters. Right. If you, you have a very tough Yeah, if you want them yeah. like dumpling type. Yeah, dumpling type. About yeah. ten minutes, five yeah. minutes on each side. Yes. But if so you want a crisp and fritter. Crisp fritters. You get them an extra two minutes. Yeah, yeah beautiful, like beautiful. But well, guess what? That will take a while, but you prepared yeah. some for us ahead yeah, of time. Sure. Come, just look at them and come and let us talk about them today. So you said the nice golden brown color is developed, yeah. right? And I like your plating. Um, the acre fritters, you drain these, you serve, you're serving two fritters here. You have done some lightly steamed callaloo. Look at the color, shocking green, eh? You are serving some plantains. And what else to me? And some them? cider, you have some sprat, yeah, can't boil it. Man, they're talking about sprat, real thing, you know? The fact that you use coconut milk, you yeah. know, in the, you know instead of water, taste. it yeah. brings out a beautiful flavor. And I really want to commend you on the selection. I got a number of ideas from you. Today we want to talk about the storage of ackees. I know you use a lot of ackees at your place, right? Yes, we do. How long do you store ackees for? Well, the way I do it, you can store up to a year, you know. Mm -hmm. Tell me yeah. how you do that. You just, like this is the ackee, yes. you just need like a coat of oil. Yes. Not much, just okay. a coat of oil. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that all are coated. Yeah. Make sure they are well yeah, coated, coated, yes? yes. All right. Just okay. enough to coat them. Just enough to coat them. Mm -hmm. You don't need not to settle or anything like that. Yes. And what is and the next step? You get okay. a storage bag. Okay, I could help you with that. Okay, what and is the next step? And you put this now in the freezer. Okay, get rid of yeah. the excess air. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you seal the bag. Yeah. So if I'm going abroad, 
This is, uh, you know, consumers call us at Grace Kitchens many yeah. times to ask us to give them tips on how to store ackee. So uh, can I tell them that this is a perfect way to store the ackee? It is. Like you're going to, for, you know, you say you keep something to maintain the coolness. So yeah. you wrap the nickel file and mm -hmm. to maintain mm -hmm. the coolness. Yes. So once it freezes, it's not... Oh, so I take it now yeah. and I put it straight in the freezer. Freeze the freezer. Let me do that, right? I'm going to share my way of, of storing ackee, but I'm going to use yours when I go home, okay? You can put this over there for me. Here we have some water. Water is here, it is boiling. And we just added a little salt for flavor and we are going to put the aki in the boiling, boiling water. And I just want to point out that, you know, there are different varieties of ackees, you know. Some are pretty firm as the ones we have here, but some of them are, are soft. And I don't think the soft ones are ideal for, for storage. What do you no, think? No, these are the better kind. Yes, the firm, firm ackee. And I, I call just, those butter ackee. The, the soft one? Yeah. Okay, all right, fine. And these, you, you could maybe just blanch for just about one, one minute, eh? So after just about a minute, we're going to remove it from the flame. We are Pour it off in a colander and as soon as we are finished draining it here, we are going to immerse it in icy cold water. I suppose we can take out these pieces of ice at it now. We place them in it to, for the ackees to cool quickly. So now this is ready for draining. And we are going to, I'm going to ask you to help me. We are going to place this in the airtight in a bag. Again, we're going to get rid of the air. We are going to tie this. It is now cold. We're going to tie this. and place this also in the freezer. I it's very important that we label them, you know, with the date in yeah. which it was done. So, so for those of us who like to boil ackees, yeah. we when we are using the one that you showed us how to store, the one with the vegetable oil, we would put the water to boil, yeah. right? And we wouldn't allow it to thaw at all. No, just put it in the boiling we'll put water. Put it straight in the boiling water. Yeah. There's so much to share. There's so much to learn. Yeah. Thank, Thank you God. very much. It was a pleasure working with you. Yeah. That was fun and we hope you enjoyed it. Remember that we welcome your questions and comments at Grace Kitchens. Grace Kitchens invites you to watch Creative Cooking. This Creative Cooking series features traditional Jamaican dishes that are part of our Jamaican culture. And we invite you to join us every Monday morning at 7.35 on Smile Jamaica It's Morning Time for Creative Cooking.